hello lolas welcome back to my channel guys if you are new to this channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button by clicking that red subscribe button oh yeah the red subscribe button and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad guys some of you guys may be wondering why I took down my last video and I'm going to tell you why I made some decisions and I am happy to tell you guys that I do plan to still do something like a talk show but I don't know if you want to call it a talk show but mostly I decided that you know so that I can control the narrative of my channel and all that great stuff in the content I decided that I would just every now and then have a special guest in but primarily it will be me talking about certain stuff certain topics certain subjects answering certain questions um, that I get on a day-to-day -day basis and that I see going on in the within the community um, but like I said I decided that it would be best that I control the narrative on my channel otherwise things probably would get out of hand so if you're okay with me then I'm okay with you and then we'll do this once a week I have not decided on the day yet but I will decide that decide the day do my first show and you guys can tell me what you think and you know I may ask you to come on one day or whatever um right now I think I'm gonna do half and half I'm gonna do uh, probably a live once a month do the show live once a month but the other times will be pre-recorded um, that would just make it easier on me just because I have a very complex schedule just like some of you guys right so for now I'm just gonna start it out as pre-recorded in the future it may be all live um, just so that we can have that straight direct interaction and commentary back and forth together right then and there because um, it's always fun when you can do live because you can chat right there in the real in real time so um, sometimes things that are said in videos need to be explained you need you know you want to give more of an explanation so anyway guys let me explain to you guys <laughs> this baby that's here with me because I am so excited um, today is a very very special day for him and me um this is my limb by Biden brown um reborn by myself and no he does not have his head right now um i sent him off to be rooted by my favorite what well, i shouldn't say favorite because i love everybody that i work with but one of my favorite rooters um and he she finished him up shipped his head off August 1st if you guys haven't been following the story um, by August 5th there was an update because he should have reached me August 4th August 5th there was an update saying he would be arriving late no problem so I'm thinking you know a couple days fast forward no update for a week a week and then another week and then finally uh, you know of course the the uh, brooder slash art other artists was like contacting the post office and just demanding answers where is the package what is going on no updates blah, blah, blah. and so they put a note in the system um attached to the tracking number and um when tracking finally showed up he was in puerto rico yes puerto rico and then they rerouted him back to come to florida where i am and then so with that being said um 23 days later he is now out for delivery now so i'm hoping fingers crossed that everything is fine and great because he's been in that box for you know all those days you know um hopefully he's you know packaged up secure and his hair is not in his face so to so thing that's my only concern is you know the dye from the hair and stuff like that so hopefully everything is fine um a lot of people have been having issues with their packages packages from um the postal service right now and there's really nothing you can do about it it's not the shipper's fault um or anything it's just the system is really jacked up right now and they don't have as many people working or they not can't work as many hours and so on and so forth 
but I am so excited. I mean, guys, when I saw the tracking updated, uh, I think it was the other night, Saturday night or Saturday daytime, like I screamed and tears came to my eyes because I've been like so worried and freaking out. It's the first time something like this happened to me where I had a package missing for so long. So I was really freaking out, but his name is gonna be Phoenix. And um, because as I started getting closer to finishing him, his face kind of gave me that Phoebe type coloring look or something to it. Something about him just, he looked like he's Phoebe's brother. So I was like Phoebe and Phoenix, you know, type thing. So that's how his name came about. But he is a toddler. Um, I'm gonna decide how old he is when he gets all together. But that's that's my big man. Like he's he's a big guy. I'm a big boy. I had you know shop for him. This is a new little um, onesie uh, shirt type thing that I had bought for him because I was preparing for him to come home. So I was starting to get him dressed and everything and ready. He's on a custom do suede body that's um, that I had made with my signature on it. I'm just like, there's just so many things. I was just so excited and just so happy that he was coming. And then boom, he's like missing all these days. So now I'm like super, super excited that he's, he's, um, I'm finally going to get my baby. Like finally going to get my baby. This is only the second limb that I've painted. And I, I think he's only the third toddler, well, true toddler that I've painted. Um, so I did a Katie Marie and then Lamb and then this Lamb. I rarely do toddler babies, um, but I really wanted an, another Lamb. Um, the, one of the reasons why I did decide to part with my other Lamb, although I loved him, was because I really wanted to have an AA, African American um uh lamb which the other one was a biracial color skin tone but i really wanted an african-american skin tone so i decided to paint him again like he's say i'm a big boy <laughs> so i don't know what all we have in store for him and what his i know he's a busy his personality is that he's very busy um he's into a lot i don't know how he'll interact with his siblings and all that stuff so we got to get all that personality going and flowing and um i'm just you know guys i am really really excited about my collection i'm excited about you know the hobby you know and i've been saying this for a while and which i have been but it's just i don't know like i'm really enjoying my reborns again and it's been a long time since i've enjoy my reborns like I have and part of it may be because um to be truthful is that I've realized and accepted the fact that I can no longer really afford the silicone babies um they're really out outside of my price range um you know sometimes I stretch it and I sell something to buy something but I've really been collecting you know uh dolls that I want to keep in my collection you know for a lifetime hopefully um, you know, that, that's subject to change, but so I, I don't want to have to sell to buy. So I'm, I'm kind of over that. Um, I've been trying to get over that phase and I feel like I'm really there. And so therefore, you know, it's like save up, you know, um, sell paint dolls to sell, you know, paint, paint dolls to sell to buy ones to add to my hob my my collection but i'm mostly painting dolls for myself now um i find that and this is just me personally i find that it is more rewarding to me when i paint my own baby i also find that because it's more affordable to me when i paint my own babies that i tend to keep them longer and appreciate them <gasps> Guess what? I just got an alert. Ah! Oh my god, perfect timing too. Oh my gosh. What time is it? Yes, yes, yes. So okay, so it's perfect timing because um Gabby will go on break and we can run and go get Phoenix and come back. I can put him together. Oh my god. 
oh my god oh my god i cannot believe that. i just literally got the alert came through my watch oh my god i've been waiting for this moment for so long oh my god oh my god oh i just love it um what was i saying oh my gosh oh yeah so but i do like to still add other dolls from artists um you know especially ones that have a really total different paint style that i love and um so you know it's kind of like with kingsley and ada they're the same sculpt they're both dark skin babies but they're two total different paint styles and i want i I wanted to do my version of dark skin in the Gabigail because it's something that I wanted to challenge myself to do. However, I know for a fact that I don't use the same um, palette as um, Mary. And so I know from seeing her work what she specializes in and I absolutely love her painting style. So I wanted a baby by her and it's a very special baby to me and it means a lot to me. And I didn't paint them two to compete against each other or to say, aha, I can, you know, paint dark skin too. But more so so that I can have two and I can have a boy and a girl and one from you know a very special artist in my collection because that's what i i'm doing now mostly i paint i collect from you know artists that i admire work or admire them as a person or whatever um so um i will still collect i say all that to say that i will still collect from time to time from other artists um and i i want to be able to collect you know different reborns from different artists too you know here and there but I've, i i want to slow down completely and just enjoy my collection like i mean i don't get to sit here and do changing videos and show you guys outfits of the day of all the babies anymore because i'm too busy you know i was too busy saying oh look who i got coming now and look who i got here and look who i got there and stuff but now it's kind of like okay i'm working on this and i'm also the other thing is is that i'm enjoying painting so much that um that excitement and that thrill um the the uh, adrenaline that you normally get from box openings i'm kind of getting that from painting for other other collectors so that's pretty nice um and i won't lie there's nothing like getting a box opening <laughs> um but like I said, my finances and stuff is not, I won't say necessarily that they change so much, um, but I'm redirecting my funds, I guess, in a different direction. Um, I just want to do other things. I want, I don't want to be, you know, so consumed with one hobby when there's so much more that I love uh, beyond my my dolls my dolls and are in painting is my number one passion at this point um writing used to be my number one thing but i think dolls have actually superseded that um so but i do love like blogging guys if you guys are not following me on my blog i have a blog that i've started it's misserenitysmithbabies.com so go check that out make sure that you follow me there um as I get more comfortable and stuff, I'll be vlogging a lot more and sharing a lot more on that that site. Um, also, when I have new babies, I will put them there. And I'll try to put them there first. Um, especially since I want you guys to get used to going there. Um, but yeah, I just want to... I'm, I'm getting to a place where I just really want to enjoy my happy space. I know you guys are tired of me saying that and you're like, oh my God, you know, she's getting on my nerves. It's sickening. I know some of you guys are looking for that moment where I go ratchet on y'all. But um, don't worry. Somebody going to get red. They be begging for it. So you'll get your moment. <laughs> I'm just playing. But um, anyway, guys, so I'm going to go. 
definitely gonna go um and i will talk to you guys later i'm so excited oh <laughs> we're so excited Fitness. and he feels so good and he smells good too later guys